All right, quick update on Zill. So in yesterday's video, I talked about these momentum shifts. I titled the video Zill Bullish Momentum Shift. And I was talking about how if we look down here on the squeeze mom, which is the squeeze momentum indicator, the market moves in cycles or better yet defined, it moves in waves. You can see we move from bearish waves to bullish waves, bearish waves to bullish waves, bearish waves to bullish waves. Uh, what happens is on the squeeze mom, you can see we have these light green candles ascending, indicative that bulls are in control of the uptrend, and then inevitably they're going to top out at some point, and that's when you see these dark green candles coming in. And this is indicative that the that the bears are about to take control of the next momentum shift in the market. You see these light red candles step in as the bears are having their momentum shift, and then. On the flip side, you see these dark red candles step in once the bulls are about to take back control of the next impulse to the upside. And that is why in yesterday's video, I told you that I believe, you know, where we were sitting at around yesterday uh, was going to be the bottom in the macro term and we are going to start to head up. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, I'll show you what happens if you trade just based on buying uh, what the squeeze momentum indicator says is the bottom of a cycle. So if you look here, the bears lost control on the 27th of February. If we mark the 27th of February and extrapolate this move, we want to mark it not to the all time high because that would be cherry picking the data, but we want to mark it to down here when the candle started to turn dark green, indicative that the bulls were losing control. And if we draw it to there, you can see we had a 375% increase the last time we had a bullish momentum shift. What happened the last time we had a bearish momentum shift? Well, we were right here and we came down and we only topped out yesterday on the 20th of April. So you can see once again, not cherry picking the data. I'm not drawing it to these lows down here. I'm drawing it to where it topped and bottomed out in terms of the squeeze momentum indicator. The last bottom we had was a 31% drop. So these momentum shifts allowed uh, Zill to have a huge, huge rally. A lot of the time you see a lot of tiny, tiny bumps and fake outs, but normally when you see these big, big moves to the downside and the upside, they are very clear cut that we are about to have a huge uptrend. And I think that's what's going on today. I did want to update you that we are having an increase in volume. Uh, literally about one minute ago when I was about to say that this candle was green it has literally just turned red out of spite for me but nonetheless we are seeing an increase in volume in general which is a good sign it means more people are buying and selling Zill uh, right now it's a very 50 50 mix between both because it has kept on switching between green and red during this video in my opinion, though, we are still extremely bullish. If we come over to the four hourly time frame, you can see we've recently fired a four hourly long. Uh, it looks like we're coming back to uh, 11.7 cent to have a back test of the EMA ribbons before, in my opinion, we initiate the next impulse to the upside. If we look at what's going on in Bitcoin, Bitcoin is having an increase in volume. Bitcoin is having continuation. We are following through right now on the lower time frames. And if we look at the higher time frames, we had a huge, huge rally today. I mean, we're looking pretty good for Bitcoin. I'm really like liking uh, the macro setup we've got for Bitcoin. We had a fake out uh, and then a breakout of this asymmetrical triangle, in my opinion. Since that happened, that's allowed extra volume to come in. The whales really wanted it to mark down to here so they could buy more. And we've seen continuation since then. So Bitcoin's looking good. In my opinion, this is going to allow Zill to keep on moving to the upside. I think if we eyeballing this from the most recent bottom to high, it looks like we've back tested your 618. Yeah, we've most recently just back tested the 618. If I draw it from candle body close, you can see it was much more of a clear cut retest of your 618 Fibonacci there. So in the lower time frames, it looks like we want to come down and retest these EMA ribbons. In the higher time frames, these momentum indicators are calling for a big shift to the upside. So once again, I said that I said this in yesterday's video. My personal price target, if I can extrapolate these quickly, so we've got your 618 Fibonacci at 1.7 cent, and then I'm trying to figure out what this one at 18 cent is. What is this Fibonacci doing up here? 18 cent. I must have okay. I must have drawn a fib from high to low, 
and then moved it over. I think that's what's happened here. Yeah, you can see it was perfectly the, the 618. I'd, I Honestly, it'd be hard to do analysis if I didn't draw and delete a bunch of fibs because I draw so many fibs on my chart to get so many different price targets. It would be a nightmare if my chart was like, you know, you know how, how I normally had it before I started making videos was like this. But everyone said they couldn't see the screen or they couldn't see the price target. So, you know, I have to clear it up a little bit. Nonetheless, these are where we get our price targets from. In the short term, I think the conservative breakout trade uh, would be a 42% increase for Zill. I am personally targeting the more bullish price target. I'm targeting 18 cent. That is a 50% increase for Zill. You can see this would carry us just above our previous 618 Fibonacci from uh, this all-time high to this low. Very nicely as well, we're above our 618 Fib down here. I really have no concerns on what we're seeing right now on Zill. I really like the setup of this. We're seeing an increase in volume. In the lower time frames, we fired a four hourly bullish flip. I think we just need to come down, retest these as support and keep on moving up. Uh, and then the bulls will have more continuation just like we hoped for. So that is all I see for Zill. Once again, I think Bitcoin looks great and we're going to see continuation for Bitcoin, which means that in my opinion, a lot of these altcoins like Zill are going to keep on moving up. And before I wrap up this video, you can finally see that increase in volume candle has finally turned back to the green. So it just means that we've got a lot of buyers and sellers in the market today, which is why, you know, you can see it's going back to red again. But, but what this really means is we've got an increase in buyers and sellers. That is good in my opinion. That means more value is being transacted. I think Zill is looking very nice right now. I like how we're above the daily EMAs. I like how the daily squeeze mom is heading up in favor of the bulls. And the increase in volume is just the cherry on top. That's all I've got for you today. I'm targeting 18 cent in the next coming weeks to months. Once again, none of this is financial advice. If you did like the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, share it with your friends. That's all I've got for you today. Once again, cowboy out, not financial advice. And as always, peace.